Hello fellow Pokemon players and TPCI, my name is Andrea Schaefer and today I am auditioning to be a live commentator at the 2014 Pokemon Video Game National and World Championships. The match I'm about to show you for my audition was recently recorded at the 2014 Utah Spring Regionals. This is the final match of the day in the Masters Division between two top players, Ben Hickey and Joey McGinley. Both players are very skilled, but also very young. Just a bit of backstory, both players just rose to the Masters division this year after participating in Seniors last year, which is a division for younger players, typically between the ages of 11 and 14. So it's just great to see those younger players rise to the occasion and dominate the Masters metagame immediately upon entering it. So let's find out. Watch our video and see who will be our 2014 Utah Spring Regional Champion. Ben will be on the top of your screen in this match. His team of six Pokemon is Meanshao, Hydreigon, Gyarados, Rotom Wash, Mawile, and Chandelure. Joey will be on the bottom of your screen. His team is Kangaskhan, Amoongus, Hydreigon, Azumarill, Rotom H, and Aerodactyl. Both players have already selected the four Pokemon for their teams for this first match, so Let's get things started. Ben has decided to send out Rotom and Mawile, Joey on the bottom, Hydreigon and Azumarill. He immediately switches that Hydreigon out for his own Rotom Heat, while Ben decides to Mega Evolve his Mawile, greatly going to increase the attack and defense of that Mawile, also giving it that huge power ability that doubles its attack. Azumarill using Protect against any possible moves from the opponent, blocking Rotom Wash's Thunderbolt, and Mawile dishing out a play rough straight onto that Rotom Heat. It is a Fairy-type attack, which is resisted by Fire-types. If Joey had let his Hydreigon stay on the field, it most likely would have been knocked out in one hit. It is four times weak to Fairy attacks because it's a Dragon Dark Pokemon. So great defensive switch in for Joey. He also switches out his Azumarill on turn two for that same Hydreigon we just saw on the field while Rotom Wash uses Thunderbolt right onto that Rotom, only does about 30% damage, and Rotom returning with an Overheat. Very powerful fire type attack straight onto that Mawile, enough to even knock it out in one hit. Wow, great choice by Joey to take down that Mega Pokemon first. If you noticed, Rotom's special attack was also reduced by two stages, so that's the price you pay for using those powerful attacks. Ben replaces his Mawile with Chandelure, a ghost fire-type Pokemon that can have a number of interesting abilities that benefit from the opponent using a fire-type attack. Ben's Rotom Wash dealing another Thunderbolt onto Hydreigon, perhaps expecting Azumarill to switch back in. Hydreigon responding with a Dark Pulse, knocks out Chandelure in one hit. Wow, Joey definitely gaining momentum in this metagame, as Rotom Wash appears to be Ben's only Pokemon. Joey's Rotom Heat taking Rotom down to about 10% health with a critical hit on Thunderbolt. It is Rotom versus the world. In a last attempt to attack that Hydreigon, it gets a Thunderbolt out, does a piddly amount of damage, and Hydreigon easily knocking it out with one final Dark Pulse. That means Joey has taken game one out of this best of three. In order for Joey to win the regional championship, he only needs to get one more win. He's got two matches to do that. Ben, on the other hand, is at a disadvantage. He must win the next two matches in order to become the Spring Utah Regional Champion. Now, something you may not have known about Ben Hickey is that he participated in the 2013 World's Championships last year in Vancouver in the Seniors Division, and he actually was the second place finisher out of thousands of other Pokemon players across the globe. So he does have experience in high pressure situations like this. He might be able to pull through. Now, he's got to make some adjustments to his playstyle this team. Last match, Joey seemed to be playing some very defensive switch-ins that allowed him to render Ben's attacks very ineffective. So in order for Ben to win this time, he's going to have to play more defensively instead of letting his Pokemon sit on the field and get knocked out with one hit by those powerful attacks 
especially from Joey's Hydreigon and Rotom Heat. Ben might be able to use that Gyarados on his team, as you can see on Team Preview right now, to help uh, resist that Fire-type overheat from Rotom Heat and then dish out perhaps a Waterfall in return. So both players have chosen their four Pokemon for round two. Best of three, Joey gaining the advantage right now, one match above Ben. Ben's got to win the next two to be the regional champion. So Ben's sending out his two leads this time, Mawile and Chandelure, two Pokemon we saw last time, but not in the lead position. Joey's sending out Rotom Heat and Amoongus. Amoongus, a Pokemon we haven't seen from Joey's side of the field yet. Amoongus is a very interesting Pokemon. It was first introduced in 2011 in the black and white games, and since then it has become a staple Pokemon to use in VGC because of its fantastic ability to function as a support Pokemon. It has access to moves like the 100% accuracy move Spore, which puts your opponent's Pokemon to sleep, and it can also use Rage Powder to redirect opponent's attacks. So hopefully Amoongus is going to secure this win for Joey. He does decide to switch it out turn one, perhaps predicting a Fire-type move from Chandelure, and send in, sends in his Hydreigon. Ben's Mawile using Protect, possibly scouting for another Overheat from that Rotom that knocked it out last turn, and Chandelure with a Shadow Ball does a ton of damage to Rotom Heat, down about 20%. Rotom Heat did try to get a Will-O-Wisp off on Mawile. Will-O-Wisp, a very good attack to have on your team in this 2014 metagame. Will-O-Wisp induces the burn status condition, which slowly whittles down the opponent's HP, but it also reduces the physical attacks of an opponent by two stages. For a Pokemon like Mawile that is dependent on physical attacks, that can really hinder its ability to be effective on the field. Ben swaps out that Chandelure for Gyarados, which gets off an Intimidate on both Hydreigon and Rotom H, lowering their attack by one. Neither are really going to feel pain from that because they are both special attackers. Ben apparently doing a double switch and swaps out his Mawile for Rotom Wash as Hydreigon deals a Dark Pulse straight into that Gyarados, about 40% damage, and Rotom Heat still trying to get that Will-O-Wisp off on Mawile, instead hitting that Rotom Wash and burning it. As you can see, Ben definitely making a change to his playstyle. He just switched out both of his Pokemon on the field for a more defensive position and definitely gained the upper hand. Uh, he's in a better position versus Joey. Joey's going to need to respond to that switch in. Can he address these Pokemon on the field or is he going to need to switch out? Both players do have 45 seconds to decide their moves for each turn of the match, and it's a good idea to take advantage of that 45 seconds. Weigh your decisions carefully. There's no sense in picking a move quickly and then regretting a decision when you could have thought everything out a lot longer. So Joey deciding to swap out that Hydreigon in response to Ben's own switching and sends in that Amoongus we saw at the beginning of the battle. Rotom Heat protects itself from any attacks by the opponent Ben, Rotom, and Gyarados both attacking, attacking that Rotom. Neither attack hits because it was protecting itself. And Joey essentially gets a free switch in to safely swap that Amoongus in. How does he plan to use Amoongus to turn the tides of the battle in his favor? Amoongus possibly being used to put the opponent's Pokemon to sleep. Joey swapping out his Rotom Heat for that Hydreigon again. And Ben's Rotom using a Thunderbolt straight into that Hydreigon. Only about 10% damage. And Gyarados revealing that it carries Taunt. Excellent move to use against a support Pokemon like Amoongus. Taunt forces the opponent to use only attacking moves. And Amoongus is not a Pokemon known for its special attacking powers. Mamoongus is most likely going to be forced to use Giga Drain after that taunt, probably the only attacking move it carries. So Gyarados has definitely shut down Amoongus' role on the field. 
Ben swapping out that Rotom for his own Mawile, getting another Intimidate off on Joey. Neither Pokemon gonna care about getting their attack lowered. And Hydreigon dishing out a Fire Blast straight into that Gyarados. It only does a minimal amount of damage, most likely predicting that Ben would swap Mawile into Gyarados' slot rather than Rotom's. Gyarados using a Thunder Wave onto Hydreigon. That's going to paralyze that Hydreigon and significantly reduce its speed. You can see that Amoongus is getting off just that one attack it has, a Giga Drain. Minimal damage on that Mawile, which will let it heal a little bit of HP back. Now that Hydreigon is paralyzed on the field, that's going to give Ben a way to deal with it. Both of his Pokemon are going to be much faster than that Hydreigon, able to knock it out. Ben finally Mega Evolving his Mawile, increasing that attack, and Gyarados using an Ice Fang straight onto that Hydreigon. Massive amount of damage, only left with 4 HP due to a critical hit. Mawile using Iron Head, easily cleaning up the field. Hydreigon down, and Ben gaining the advantage in this match. Amoongus using a very pitiful, ironically, Giga Drain. And Joey sending out his final Pokemon, haven't seen it on the field yet, Azumarill. Azumarill is a Pokemon that has finally been used in VGC this year due to its awesome new Water Fairy dual typing. Fairy type has definitely revolutionized the metagame. Fairy is super effective against Dragon, which absolutely dominated the metagame in 2012 and 2013. It also is immune to dragon types attacks, so finally there is a solution for those powerful dragon Pokemon in cute little aqua mice such as Azumarill. Both players making their final decisions, and Amoongus decides to use Rage Powder. That's going to redirect all attacks aimed at Azumarill to Amoongus instead, and Gyarados getting off a taunt straight onto that Amoongus. Great move choice by Ben, and Azumarill, a very risky decision to use Belly Drum that cuts its HP in half and maxes out its attack, so very powerful. It regains some of that health loss with the Citrus Parry and Mawile, using an Iron Head straight onto that Amoongus. If it had hit, Azumarill would have been super effective damage, possibly knocking it out. Ben's goal at this point has got to be get that Azumarill off the field. Amoongus is not an attacking Pokemon, and with such a minimal amount of HP left, it's not a threat. But that Azumarill with a maxed out attack and access to a priority move such as Aqua Jet is going to be a force to be reckoned with. Ben swapping out that Gyarados for Chandelure that we saw at the beginning, and Joey also switching out Amoongus. It's done its role on the field, doesn't need it anymore. Sends out that Rotom Heat again. Mawile protecting itself, possibly from Azumarill's attacks. And Azumarill with an Aqua Jet. Straight into Gyarados' slot, knocks out that Chandelure in one hit. Another reason why Focus Sash probably would have been a much more useful item to a frail Pokemon like Chandelure. And Ben, down to his last two Pokemon, sends out that Gyarados, gets another Intimidate off. Now that's going to reduce Azumarill's maxed out attack by just one stage. Will it be enough for his Pokemon to withstand those priority, very powerful, very threatening Aqua Jets? Azumarill with an Aqua Jet straight into Mega Mawile, knocks it out even at 78% HP. And Ben dishing out a waterfall straight into that Rotom Heat, knocks out the last sliver of HP. And now our trainers are equal, both with their last two Pokemon. Joey sends out his Amoongus, and Ben sending out that Rotom Wash we saw at the beginning of the battle. Still burned. Slowly going to take away some of its health. Now that Amoongus is out and no longer taunted, it's free to use those support moves at least for the first turn before Gyarados can taunt it again. It could put them to sleep. Instead, Joey decides to use Rage Powder, redirecting all of those attacks at Azumarill to itself. Azumarill with a very powerful Aqua Jet 
straight into Gyarados, knocks it out despite being a not very effective attack, showing you just how powerful that little mouse can be with a maxed out attack. Rotom deals a Thunderbolt straight into Amoongus, redirected from Azumarill, and it is Rotom with the last stand. Players making their final decisions. Azumarill with one last Aqua Jet. Will it knock out? Bam! Ben's last Pokemon goes down, and that means Joey is your 2014 Utah Spring Regional Champion. So congratulations to both players on two very exciting matches. Both players are qualified to compete in the United States Nationals competition held in Indianapolis this summer, 4th of July weekend. So thank you all for watching. At TPCI, thank you very much for the opportunity to audition for such an exciting position at the VGCs this summer. So hope to hear from you soon. If you would like any additional videos, I'd be happy to provide those. Once again, this is Andrea Schaefer signing off.